guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from a collaboration called the Polish Palette, which is currently a, well, it's a brand new uh, collaboration between the brands Rogue Liker and Tonic Polish. Now this is gonna come out quarterly as opposed to like monthly, um, so four times a year. They are currently only doing the two brands. Now as far as what's gonna happen in the future with that, we're not sure just yet. But for right now, we are just doing the two brands. And what it is, is every quarter, they're going to collaborate on a palette of colors that look good together as opposed to a theme. So here's this month's color palette. It is very beautiful, very folly, very cohesive. <laughs> This box will retail for $40, um, and it does not include the magnet for one of the tonic polishes that are magnetic, and it will be available on the tonic site. In the description box below, I will link both the tonic site and Instagram page, both the rogue site and Instagram page, and then I haven't seen a, an Instagram page for the polish palette yet, but there is a Facebook page for them, so I will also leave that in the description box, as well as my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collaboration. So I do have four polishes to share with you today, and let's go ahead and get started. So all of today's swatches are going to be topped with Tonic Topper Fast Drying Glossy Top Coat from Tonic. And up first we have Saharan, which is a burnt orange color. It has a strong gold shimmer and it is magnetic. And the magnet I'm using today is also from Tonic. I'm not sure if you get it with the purchase, but I will find that out and leave it in the description box below. So here is our first coat of Saharan. This covers really nicely on this first coat. It's obviously not completely opaque, so I am going to go in for a second coat. It does have a beautiful formula, very easy to use, easy to work with. Not too thick or too thin. It's kind of right there in the middle where it just stays right where you put it. It also applies really, really smoothly. It was just a pleasant experience all around. So here's our second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats for me. I am using my magnet for about 15 seconds, um, but I'm cutting you know, each bit of that because who wants to sit there and watch all that? Nothing in here is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So you will want a glossy top coat just to finish this off and keep it nice and sealed, and you will want to use that magnet after your top coat as well. So there is two coats. So next up we have Antarctic, which is a icy dark blue with a gray tint. It's a linear hollow and it does have a bunch of different iridescent flakies. Here's our first coat of Antarctic. This has a good formula as well. Again, not too thick or too thin, no running or pulling or anything like that. It is just a little bit sheer here on this first coat, so I am gonna go ahead and build it up. This is one that, depending on your application, would be a two to three coater. Um, obviously, my nails are very short right now, so it was pretty well opaque here on two coats. I am gonna show you what a third coat looks like because the other times that I've worn this, I did do three coats. So I think just depending on your nail length and application, two to three coats for this one. It is gonna dry a little bit dull and just like the littlest bit textured, so you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this off. And nothing in this is gonna stick to your nails as far as the removal process goes, but you'll see in my next clip, um, it gets just about everywhere <laughs> when you take it off, so just bear that in mind um, and use an extra cotton ball because I didn't and my nails look absolutely terrible, so there is three coats. And first up from Rogue, we have Sonoran, which is a bright chartreuse shade with scattered hollow and then a blue shimmer. So here's our first coat of Sonoran, and right away you can tell what I meant um, be before about the tonic being a little bit messy to remove. Um, it's just, there's glitter all over my hands. But anyway, so this Sonoran has a beautiful formula. It's slightly thicker, but it's that thick where it's just like absolute perfection to work with. This is another one that depending on your application could be two to three coats. Once again, when my nails were a little bit longer, I was able to get away with uh, three coats. 
I did three coats, so I am going to go ahead and do three coats for this, though it is pretty much opaque here now that my nails are shorter, but it does cover completely in three coats. It dries down to a satiny finish and slightly textured, so you will want a nice glossy top coat. And this wasn't the hardest glitter to remove, but it wasn't also the easiest polish to take off, so just bear that in mind, and if you hate using acetone, use a peel off base coat, so there's three coats. And lastly for today we have Gobi from Rogue and this is a turquoise base with turquoise flakies and glitters and a strong like lighter turquoise shimmer. It's also got these darker micro flakies throughout it. So here is our first coat of Gobi. This one also has a perfect formula. Again, no running or pulling or anything like that. You get a ton of flakies out without having to do any kind of swirling, double dipping, manipulating of the bottle, anything like that. And it also covers pretty well here on this first coat. I just have some bald spots. So here's two coats. And once again, depending on your application, this could be a two or three coater. I am going to go ahead and stop at two coats. You will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this one off. And just like that tonic, nothing in this is going to stick to your nails as far as a hard removal process, but it is going to be a little bit messy. So there is two coats. I know I say this all the time, picking a favorite is really, really hard. Um, Rogue hit me hard with Gobi with the flakies, and then the other one, uh, the chartreuse. I love this color on my skin tone. I don't know why, but I do, and it's absolute perfection, so I can't pick a favorite from them. And then with Tonic, um, Antarctic, I actually have worn this three times since I've gotten it, um, and it's just mind-blowingly beautiful. I love the flakies in here, the hollow. It's just very, very gorgeous. But then Saharan, it calls to my fall polish needs. Um, and the fact that it's magnetic is just amazing. Uh, so I, you know, you need them all. So they are all amazing, um, which is good because I don't think you can purchase them individually as of right now anyway. So I would highly recommend all of them to you anyway. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking up the very first polish palette. Let me know what your favorite from the palette was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you.